G'day. Unusual venue today. I haven't been used to the Californian type weather we've been having in Dorset, which has allowed me to go out in the early morning to record the video for us. Uh, today it's raining. I remember Billy Connolly saying the Scotland, which isn't that far away from Dorset, depending on the way you look at it, said uh, Scotland has two seasons. It has winter and June. Uh, well, our June is starting out a little bit wet and the grass is going, yay! But it means that I'm not in my usual location. We're going to have car noise, we'll have bird noise, we'll have rain noise. But hey, if you can put up with it, let's do today's episode because today's episode is about taking control of the things you can control. And you go, Lex, we've done that already. Well, we're going to put it in context and the context is Stephen Covey's Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Perhaps the most important, well-loved and implemented professional development book ever written aside from, <clears throat> excuse me, aside from the scriptures, things like the Proverbs of Solomon. And Covey's fascinating because he goes back into that wisdom tradition that you see in books like the Proverbs of Solomon, where it becomes a character ethic rather than personality ethic. There's lots of professional development stuff that we'll talk about the way you should talk, the way you should hold yourself, the way you should dress to influence people. But that influence could be from a position that was something other than integrity. Covey's going, no, 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 no. We need to flow from our character, not our mask of persona, from our character. And when you get your character right, you get your roots right. And when the roots are right, the fruits follow. So habit one, we'll only do one habit a day, and keep it nice and simple, nice and easy, is be proactive. And I love this. Because if you're not proactive, you're going to be reactive. And when you're reactive, you're reacting to your circle of concern, stuff that you've taken no responsibility for. And so you're a victim. You might be a very successful victim, but you're not taking the steps you need to take to be a victor. Victors are proactive. Victims are reactive. And that can be good. You can have good luck. And the universe can go, there you go. Have a great life, have a great opportunity. And it's happened to me hundreds of times. But if I wait for that, I'm gonna be spending too much time in the waiting room of life, waiting for the universe while I go, pick me, pick me, pick me. I don't want that. That's not the way of champions. It's not the way of characters. It's not the way of character. So what you've got to do is decide to just focus on your circle of control and choose to be proactive. You look at what you can control and you go, what physical action step can I take today, right here, right now, to improve the situation, to add value to the universe, to make my life shine all the better? And I need to hear this all the time. I mean, I slipped into victim mode today. It's not attractive. It never is attractive. Instead of focusing on my circle of control and go, okay, what steps can I take to make today better? I was going, nye, 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 nye. I'm not going to bother you with what I was whinging about. It's wrong. And it's so wrong that it can harm your business. For many, many years now, I've been doing professional audio, professional video and writing. And I've got quite a few companies I deal with who I love and people I know well. And I think it's the truth. I can't remember ever, so never have any of them come to me and gone, Lex, we know what you do, we know what you love, we know your work. I think there's a piece of software here or a product that would enhance your workflow. So they rely on me going to them and go, I pick you. I want to pick that piece of equipment there. When I do that, I make loads of mistakes. Imagine somebody who's immersed in that industry, who knows their customers and goes, do you know what? This would really help them accentuate their workflow and produce greater art. Wouldn't it be super if they proactively reached out to their customer base and said, we think this has got your name on it. Come and give it a go. So that's, that's my message for today. Don't wait for the universe to pick you. Pick yourself. Be proactive and think about your customers. Go, do you know what? There's some stuff I've got here that's got my client's name on it. Let's proactively reach out to them and go, I don't know, I'm not certain, but I'm almost certain that this would enhance your business or your quality of life or your joie de vivre. 
give it a go. Habit number one then, be proactive, don't be a victim, be a victor. Don't be all persona, be full of character. And uh, then we might just accelerate our journey to living long and prosper. Is that good English? Living longer and prospering. Thanks for joining me in the rain. See you tomorrow.